In this video, I will be uh, presenting how to use the lookup fields uh, from uh, the common data services and using the common data services um, uh, connector. So on the previous video, I presented almost the same information, but I just want to make sure that we understand, you know, this video is for the common data services. The previous video was actually using the Dynamics 365 CE connector. So it's going to be a little bit different the way that we use the lookups and how do we um, actually save the information for, for the lookups. So let's look into the application and let's see um, how do I build it and how do I uh, present it, the information and, and when I save it. So this is the application. It's similar to the previous one that I created for the um, Dynamics 365 connector. Uh, we have the, all the requests, uh, the service requests on, uh, on the gallery. Uh, and then this is actually where I presented all the information previously on the same uh, on the previous video. Um, I presented the same screens. Um, this one, I want to make sure that we see that this is actually only for um, the common data services. So all of the connections that I have in here are mainly for the common data services. Um, and then the, uh, uh, the main entity that I'm using is the service request entity. So this one right here. So <clears throat> one of the things that um, I presented on the previous video also is, you know, how to add a brand new record. So um, on all of these uh, fields that I created, um, there are actually lookups. Um, I use the combo box and then on the combo box, I use several different ways to actually bring the data. Like for example, for the account, I use directly um, the account entity from the, the CDS. On the contact, I use a, a, a collection because I just want to get only the, pair, the the records, the contacts that are related to the to the account. Okay, on the leads, also I use the you know the typical entity uh, on the assigned to, which is actually the users. I use a collection. Remember, on the previous video, I created the collection because I have so many users um, that are not actually the account the users that I want to show on the list because some of them are actually service accounts. Um, and then I just want to show, you know, the specific five users that I want to put in. So that's the reason why I create a collection. And then from the collection, I'm using uh, that collection in the combo box to put it in. Uh, and then also I have a, an option set that I actually created a collection. So let me show you the collections where I created them. And uh, right here, and then let's bring all the collections. Let's format the text. Uh, and this is a collection for the option set. Again, uh, on the previous video, I mentioned that, you know, you have the name and then you have the value. And then when you save it, you save actually the value. But we're going to see there's a uh, different caveats for serving, saving the information using the patch function and then passing the information to flow. Uh, we will see that in a minute. So again, uh, this is the collection for the users. Um, and that's actually the same IDs that I used on the previous video um, and the same names that I used on the previous video. So this one actually will show you that. Um, again, still, um, you will see a lot of information about the status code and the state uh, and, the, uh, and the status code and the status code, the status code and the state code, which are the two fields for the, uh, the status on the records for um, Dynamics 365 and now on the common data services. Uh, you will see that information. Unfortunately, it's still in not in this video. It's going to be the next video. So stay tuned. Be uh, waiting for that one. OK, so let's uh, play with the application. Let's run it. Uh, let's create a brand new record and then let's test it. Test uh, with, I'm uh, sorry, with uh, Power Apps. Uh, what else did I call it? Um, then let's sit and then let's call it Ape. So the account, as I mentioned before on the previous video on Lidware, I know that I have three contacts. Uh, that are related to that account. So let's use one of the contacts. And let's use this too. The leads, I have all the leads available on the system. So I'm just bringing one of the leads. The assigned to, it's actually one of the users. So let's select that to me. And then this is actually the option set. So let's use uh, database. And let's save it. OK, and then we're saving that and it's already done. OK, so now let's check out the code. So we already know that the combo boxes are actually using the entities or actually using the collections. But how do we use uh, how do we actually save the information? And let me go through line by line. 
So one of the things that I notice is like uh, on another uh, uh, video, somebody mentioned that, you know, you have to close the squirrely brackets so you can actually make sure that those options are actually specific. One of the things that I really notice is that, you know, when I don't when I don't put the squirrely brackets for the lookups, I come up with the error that it, that it have to be a record type uh, value that need to be passed in. So in that case, one of the things that I noticed and then uh, the changes that I did is, you know, for example, for the account, account name, I'm using only whatever is selected because I know that that one is coming directly from the custom entity. I mean, sorry, from the entity uh, on the combo box for the data source. So that's the reason why I just use the selected. Uh, the same thing with the lead because I'm using um, the connection, uh, the data source directly with the lead entity. I'm just getting that information back right away. The difference is when I'm using, like for example, the contact, because on the contact, I actually use the collection. And then from the collection, I'm actually getting the ID. And then from the ID, I'm doing a filter so I can actually return the whole record type back to the patch function. So that's the reason why I actually I created, you know, the, the squarely brackets on again on this one. And then I put the field name, the contact name, and then I did the first record on my filter where the contacts entity, where the contact ID is exactly the same as the selected record with the contact ID. So in that case, I'm actually returning the same record. Uh, in this case, I get in all the information uh, and then I pass it into um, the contact uh, name. I'm doing exactly the same thing for the user because on the assigned to, I'm actually using the same uh, situation. You know, I'm passing in um, the collection and for the collection, I'm just getting the value as the GUID. And one of the things that I'm doing here is actually I'm doing the filter for the users and getting the system user ID uh, that is equal to the value of that collection that I just selected from the combo box. Another thing is, you know, some of the other uh, situations that I find is that also, um, uh, the service type, which is a, a, a option set, um, I selected the value. And again, we need to use the curly brackets uh, to actually define that this is actually a different type of field. If you notice, you know, I actually put all the simple um, field types in the same curly brackets, like for example, the text field, uh, the, the name, which is a, a service request name, that is a text field, uh, the start date, which is actually a date field, uh, and the status code, which is actually just a numeric value. Um, the status code is actually managed different than an option set. And for that reason, it actually, it's uh, very easy to manage with, you know, the, the other simple uh, field types. So after that, you know, what I do is actually just, you know, reset all the controls and that's it. So as you can see, managing the way into uh, the patch function, it's uh, you have to, for every single lookup field, you have to open and close the uh, curly brackets and make it a specific by itself. And then um, if you actually selected uh, the, um, uh, the data source as the entity, then you can actually pass the selected record. If not, then you have, if you use the collections, then you have to go filter and then get the record back into us and assign it to um, that specific entity. Uh, I'm sorry, that specific lookup field for that entity. Okay, so this is how I created the patch function. And uh, it took me some time because I actually, I was starting going through every single field at a time. So it took me like, you know, several interactions uh, to create the whole set. Uh, but then when I started actually noticing a pattern, then I, it was a lot faster on how to use it. Okay, so this is the way to use it with the patch function. Now let's run the application again. And this is the record that I created. So let's add another record. And then uh, this record using flow. Okay, and then the account, we're gonna use the parent account. We're gonna use the primary account. We're gonna use the first lead. Um, this one, we're gonna send it to Michael. And this one is gonna be an internal ticket. Okay, pretty much everything's already done. So now let's save it with flow. And with flow, in this case, also, I want to make sure that uh, we see that flow, it's uh, actually using uh, the common data model. So let's change the environment so I can get the correct flow. So if we look at this one, this is the flow that I created. Again, very simple, two steps. One is requesting the variables from Power Apps. And the second step is actually creating the record um, 
for uh, the common data services. Um, this one, in compared to uh, the Dynamics 365 connector, it only shows me one field per the lookup fields. So you will see that this field is actually like this. One of the things that I did initially is actually to send the record type information into flow and then it failed because flow is not expecting the whole record. It's expecting the ID again, like previous times, like in the data, um, um, the Dynamics 365 connector is expecting uh, the ID or the GUID. In this case is the same thing. So one of the things that you will see that I have several iterations in here, um, when I test it, you know, the first time it failed and then finally succeeded because I start actually using uh, on um, the implementation for the flow for creating the record. And when I, so it's actually finished loading, I don't know why it's taking forever. Okay. As you can see, I'm actually creating and requesting the, those fields. And then when I go to the application and if I you know, stop the application and then we can see how to save it with flow. In the application, it's extremely simple because I don't have to go and get filters and get the record types. I actually just need to do is pass the IDs. So again, for the account name, uh, for the account name combo, I'm just passing the select record and then the account ID the contact ID, um, the assigned to, which is in this case, the uh, users, I'm getting the value, which is the, I, the GUID, uh, the lead, the same thing, and then the service, uh, the service type compo, which is the option set, I'm also passing the, uh, the value. So as you can see, um, making the flow to create the record, it's extremely simple using the common data services uh, and compared to Dynamics 365 connector, which actually gives you a lot more options in different type of fields for the same type of uh, lookup field and option set. So this is the other way that actually to, you can create the um, information. And then let's go back and let's validate the last one that I create. So we can see you know, the record and all the information that it actually passed, pass, pass it to the flow. And as you can see, um, it's only the IDs, it's only the GUIDs, and it's only the value for the option set. Um, uh, so now you have two options, you know, one a little bit more complex using the, uh, the patch function on Power Apps, or and using a very easy way to actually add it with flow and using the, the common data services. Okay. I hope that this helped you and understand uh, how to use lookups with the common data services. Bye.